the Mahabharata. And there are lots of translations around. The best short one, I think, is P. Lal's so-called transcreation, which captures both the sort of the magic of the stories of the Mahabharata, because it's really compelling, almost racy read, as well as its startling contemporary resonance and relevance. I read it and was immediately sort of provoked into writing what became the great Indian novel. What was striking about the whole message of the Mahabharata is that so many lessons, so much wisdom was incorporated in what was all the same same time a very compelling story. And at the same time, the Mahabharata was once sort of practically the National Library of India. Every tale that needed to be told was sort of interpolated into the Mahabharata, into retellings of the Mahabharata. And we kept retelling it for about 800 years. My second book would probably be Jawaharlal Nehru's Discovery of India, which is a slightly more uneven book, but I found it very compelling because the evocation of what India was all about, historically, culturally, politically, in the discovery of India, is to my mind very much the basis for the India that has been built over the last 70 years. An India which is now being strongly contested, challenged and even undermined by those who are in power today. For my third book, my instinct would be not to pick one book, but an entire genre. I, as a child, read every single book by P.J. Woodhouse. And at least 20 would compete for the title of my favorite Woodhouse. I found much to admire in the sort of somewhat dark and sardonic humor of Milan Kundera, the Czech writer. I would say one of my most favorite recent humorous reads is a book called The 100-Year-Old Man Who Stepped Out of His Window and Disappeared by a Swedish writer called Jonas Jonsson, which is a hysterically funny take on 20th century history, as well as a very, very funny look at human foibles. So all of this gives me the feeling that the third book should be a work of humor, satire, or comedy, and that it should give you the ability to laugh at yourself and laugh at the world.